Hey guys, this is Fadi from Hargreaves Productions. Welcome to another video. In today's video, I will be talking about something I got asked about so many times. I've always also got, gotten asked by several people, can you please make a video to explain how you're doing this? Obviously, in recording studios, it's a big deal how to have uh, your room tuned proper, especially if you are doing a lot of mixing and mastering like myself. You want to make sure that your room is tuned properly. There's obviously a lot of factors that uh, becomes a part of a room tuning, which is the, the built of the room itself, the dimensions of the room, all the paneling and the acoustics in the room. Uh, in today's video specifically, I will be talking about how I am using my Grace Design M908 monitor controller to apply room correction DSP to my speakers. And um, I will hit, hint a little bit about the integration with the REW, which is a free software out there for uh, room measurements. Um, so let's just dig in. Um, so really, in a, a simple way, if you guys look at my screen here, this is what my Grace Design controller looks like, the M908, which the room EQ correction is only available in the 908. I don't believe it's available in the 905. Maybe they'll do that in the future, I don't know. Uh, but as of right now, this is where it's available. So um, I'm opening this, I'm gonna go to the edit here at the top right. You guys can see input and outputs. I have another video out there about the routing for that uh, monitor controller and how to do it. So in here, let's just go to the speakers, which you have, uh, because the unit has three speed, like has outputs to select three different speakers, three sets of speakers, basically. And the speakers don't have to be stereo. Like each set of speaker could be anything, could be a, a full Dolby Atmos, like you guys can see. So in this scenario, I'm just gonna choose this one, which is my MM27. And I flattened everything in here so we can start uh, from scratch. My MM27, I have a left speaker and I have a right speaker. You guys can see the rest of these speakers are grayed out. I mean, I, now I, I can activate these speakers by assigning an input and an output to them. Now, if I have like a sub, a center sub or right front, like those are more for stereo and you can add or uh, deduct speakers according to um, what's your setup look like. You can build it however you want to. So we're just doing a basic setup now. It's a stereo. I have a, my MM27. So I'm selecting my left speaker and my right speaker. Now what Grace Design offer, which is absolutely phenomenal, they have their own room correction EQ. You guys can see it down there. And then that room correction EQ is applied per speaker. And my understanding is you can have it up to all the total counts of the speakers that you have in your system. I can put a separate EQ for each individual speaker in my system. Right here, you guys can see the bands at the bottom. So I can just add. So the total number is 12 bands, which, which you can see now here is all the information for every single band. Now, the cool thing about this is the EQ is applied per speaker and the EQ is also applied different uh, if I have a, a second set of speakers. So what does that mean? It means the, the issue with uh, a lot of the room correction softwares, whether you're using a digital or an analog, if you have a stereo input, stereo output, so you're applying some form of EQ and correction, that correction is going to a set of speakers. Well, great. Now, if you bought uh, a second set of speakers, well, that room correction cannot go to the second set of speakers because these speakers' response are completely different. And then you run into the issues like one speakers are corrected and the others are not, or you have to buy a second one of these units. Um, and then if you're using softwares like Sonarworks or something like that, it gets a little bit tricky you have to, every time you go and switch inputs and outputs from inside Sonarworks. The cool thing about the Grace that I love is that um, the EQ is dedicated and I put it on the unit to which speaker I'm sending it to, and it's a done deal. So I put that EQ on the left speaker and the right speaker of my MM27, and I can apply slightly different EQ between each speaker if I want it to. And then I, if I have a second set of, for example, my Antelope i8 speakers, I will have a completely different room correction for those. Okay, let's look at all what goes into the room correction on the, Grace. 
So the first is you got your eight band EQ, and then these bands, you can see each one of them could be peak, low pass, high pass, high shelf, low shelf. Um, so a peak, for example, if I, let's say I select frequency 150, and I wanna boost two and a half dB. There you go, you guys can see it up here. And then I can adjust the cue to whatever I want. So here's a little bit narrow cue. You can also just grab it from here and do it this way if you want to. And then you can also Here you go, and then adjust the cue from here, um, whether you want a narrow cue and the cues, uh, or you want like a, here's like a super or more narrow cue. Or you want a really wide cue. And then you could do this, keep going. So here is the this one. I'm going to add frequency for that one, let's say at 500, and I want to boost 3 dB. And the frequency, I don't know why it got deleted, 500, there you go. And then just keep going on, let's say at the very end I want to do a high shelf, and on the high shelf, I want it to start at 12,000, and then here it is, and you guys can see, and then at the very bottom, I want to do um, high pass, and I want the high pass to be at 40. This is another really cool <laughs> trick so you can um, apply room EQ on the speaker, and then you can also turn it on and off. So for example, if you have a set of speakers and you want to make those speakers sound more like smaller speakers, which normally you won't have a lot of the low end, so this would be like this, you know, and then you would come up here at the high shelf and then you would just make it um, low pass. And it would do something like this, you know. And then you kind of turn the speakers that you have and then save that setting into one of the speaker presets. And then when you go to it, it goes to the same set of speakers that you have, but they will sound different because you have a different EQ applied to it. Uh, I mean, the, the applications here are absolutely um, endless. You can do so much. And then up here, this is um, for each speaker, you have your bass management, you have crossover uh, if you have a sub. So bass management, this comes in handy if you have a sub. So I can set up the crossover. Uh, I can turn the bass management on and off. And then here's like the trims for that speaker, the level offset, the delay of the speaker. So when I'm using software for uh, reading and measuring my room, if I'm noticing that one of my speakers is a little bit delayed or behind the other one, I can offset that and I can fix it uh, right here. And then uh, let's say after I'm done with my EQ, and let's say I'm not going to do uh, the left speaker separate from the right, I'm just EQing, and this is kind of my room correction that I wanna do. I can just copy that EQ, and then I can go to my other speaker and I can just paste it. And then you guys can see it. And I can also export that right here export the EQ, and then you save the file of the room correction for uh, your setup. Um, this is just another view for how it looks like. So you can see it in this view, or I prefer that view, it just looks a little bit cleaner to me, um, or that view. All right, so the next thing is this button right here, this one, I'm sorry, which import EQ from a setting file. So when you save a file and export it, and then you save it somewhere, and then if you messed up your EQ or whatever, you wanna reset it, and then you can re-import back the file that you did. But here's the really cool thing that I've actually personally have been using a lot. Uh, I've, I personally use REW as the software to measure my room, because people ask me, what do you use to measure your room? REW is a great software. It, it gets a little bit tricky. 
and it's a bit complex. I don't necessarily understand 100% of everything in it, but I got enough now that I know how to measure my room. And uh, I will be making a separate video on just REW. And then in REW, which is a completely free software, I have a mic, I have one of my room measurement mics that I uh, bought, and then I think it's the UMK1, and then I just plug it in, I set and I set all the, uh, the settings in REW of what I wanna measure and what frequency and all that kind of stuff and check my levels and gains and all that stuff. And then REW reads my room and reads uh, basically if I have dips or whatever. And then I can tell REW inside the software to generate an EQ that will compensate for the discrepancies in my room and then it will bring it back to flat. And then after doing this in REW, I can tell it what EQ I am using and then M908 is actually one of the compatible ones. So you would go select Grace Design M908 and then inside the REW, you will select export the file. And then I grab that file and I just literally take it and import it in here and it will have all uh, the EQ. It does not do delay compensation for the speaker, but it will have all the EQ and I just drag it and drop it in here. So I was kind of testing and messing around with some things earlier. And, and REW made this crazy EQ to kind of show me a few things in my room. And here's what it looks like. I did not have to do all these things manually. Just REW did this crazy EQ that I just imported in here and I'm kind of testing my room and seeing how's that sound uh, like. And um, because of the integration between the Grace Design and the REW, now the process of making adjustments and room tuning to my room has become significantly simpler and now it takes way less time. Uh, before that, I used to use um, a different software and then I would um, tune the room uh, or I measured the room and then I would go inside the Grace Design and then I would uh, uh, start applying. I was like, okay, I'm noticing a dip in my 70 Hertz. So I will add someone here and then go back and measure again and then see, and it's like, oh, did that what I do? Did that fix the problem or not? I just kept going back and forth, back and forth. But now the integration uh, between REW and Grace Design, this has been uh, incredible for me. Uh, so really a quick recap here. The, the way that Grace Design works, because these are DSP EQ, they're very clean. I have not had any phase problems with them. Quality has been uh, absolutely outstanding. I've had issues with some other softwares and especially the digital ways of trying to treat your room uh, like Sonarworks and some of those similar softwares. I started to feel phasing and stuff like that, but with this is much, much cleaner. It, there's no latency in it. It's also applied on my master output. So anything I play, that goes through my Grace Design into my speakers will have the room correction on it. And then if I have multiple sets of speakers, then I don't have a problem because that room correction is applied on all these speakers. If even I have a surround setup, which is one of the things I'm working on, and I have 12 Atmos speakers in here, I can literally go and EQ each one of these 12 individually if I want it to, which is something uh, very, very hard to do. And then I can save that and this will be one speaker preset. And then on my other speaker preset, I have my MM27 and that is my second speaker preset. Um, it's very versatile, it's very intuitive, it's very simple to use. And uh, in, in my opinion, it's one of the best room correction EQ out there. The only thing that it doesn't do, and you want, I want you to understand this part, Grace unit doesn't measure and read the room for you. You would give it whatever EQ you want to correct your room. You would need to use something separate to read the measurements in your room, generate EQ curves, and then you would put these EQ curves inside the Grace. Um, because I've been asked what's the difference between this and Trinov or the difference between this and some of the uh, other companies like Sonarworks, the software. So these, the Sonarworks and the Trinov, they measure for you. This one, it doesn't measure for you. You get to choose what you, you can use the Sonarworks software to measure if you want to. You can use the Trinov to measure. You can use, uh, like what I'm using, the REW, which is a completely free software to measure. 
You can use anything you want it to, to measure, but the Grace Design won't measure it, and you will take that EQ and apply it in there. Anyways, I hope this is uh, helpful. This was just a quick video to explain how I am using DSP EQ on my Grace M908 to fix and correct my room. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please send me an email. My email is in the description below. And if you want to schedule a consult or you want help with your setup or your studio, please shoot me an email as well. And I'll be happy to schedule that with you. And I'll see you guys in the next video.